praise the Lord. Shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you so much for tonight. And Lord, I pray that your spirit will direct us aright. That all we shall do under this roof will glorify your name. Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah chapter 6, I read from verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twine he covered himself, and with twine he covered his feet, and with twine he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the thorns from up the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away. And thy sin purged. Also I had the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Praise the Lord. This hour we are considering God in search of people to use. God in search of people to use. It's not just this is a thing that just happened. That need has been there. God has been looking for how to catch attention of this young man and use him for his glory. But it's like some powers, forces in the realm but God, from really catching a glimpse or from him catching a glimpse of God's glory. And God was searching for a man whom he will use. And one of them, upon whose eyes was on him was Isaiah. Isaiah had been doing the work of God in Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1. He said, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, kings of Judah, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken, and have nourished, and brought up children, 
and they have rebelled against me. The ox know it is owner, and they ask the master's cree, but Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Ah, sinful nation, are people laden with iniquity, as seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Who was preaching? That's Isaiah. That's Isaiah. You know, one thing is to have a desire after God and after the things of God. Another thing is for God's hand to rest upon somebody. So you could see in chapter 1, Isaiah was preaching. You people. Chapter 2, Isaiah was preaching. You evildoers. Chapter 3, Isaiah was bringing judgment unto Jerusalem and Judah. Chapter 4, Isaiah was saying some things. Chapter 5, Isaiah was singing. Not until in the year that King Uzziah died. Isaiah was privileged to catch a glimpse of the God he had been preaching about that he didn't know. It looks ridiculous. Unbelievable. All this while, he has been a preacher and yet was in sin. He never knew. Not until in the year that King Uzziah died, I stand here and declare to every Uzziah of your life that unless he dies, you will not serve God the way he wants you to serve him. Let that Uzziah die this night. Let that Uzziah not see tomorrow. To Isaiah, he felt all was okay. He never see the reason for him asking for repentance or crying for God to cleanse him. He felt since I could preach, that's okay. Not until that day, King Uzziah died. King Uzziah can represent human, physical, king. He can represent pe demonic personality whose satanic occultic influence, witchcraft influence, frustrated, hindered the real thing the individual came into the world from coming to limelight. And because of the height he was occupying in the heavenlies, overshadowing presence of his or her witchcraft power, made everybody to become mumu, useless, made people to feel all they need to do is come to church, sit down. Hear the word, but don't do it. We talk about doing anything for God. All they know is sit down. The sermon is fantastic. Can there be any action towards it? No. Daddy, I am praying. Uzziah after me. Drop dead even as I'm talking. Uzziah after old time feet. Drop dead even as I'm talking. 
Uzziah after the people of God that unless they die, we can't serve God in the beauty of his holiness. Jehovah, any part of the world where they are. And they have been sitting on this church. Daddy, I am praying this particular prayer at this moment. Let that Uzziah go down. So that the light of God will shine. So that we can see ourselves from the gamma rays of God's world. So that we can know our spiritual state. And discover if there be some amendment to be made. And such can be done. While there is hope. If there be some corrections, if there be some instructions to take while it is day for night comets, when no man can walk, Lord, let that Uzziah go down. So, can I say Isaiah was privileged to have not died before the death of Uzziah? Of which if Uzziah remained alive, and Uzziah was alive in chapter 1 of Isaiah, he was alive in chapter 2 of Isaiah, he was alive in chapter 3 of Isaiah, he was alive in chapter 4 of Isaiah, he was alive in chapter 5 of Isaiah, he died in chapter 6. And it was that chapter 6 that... He saw a vision that made him to give us chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, chapter 20, chapter 25, chapter 14, chapter 60, chapter 60, 65, until the last chapter. Which means, if he would have remained, it could be Isaiah would have died in chapter 5. And all the good works of the Lord from, because of all the prophets of old it was only prophet isaiah that had the privilege to talk about christ's birth christ's death christ's resurrection only isaiah had the privilege the kind of person he would be the kind of where he would be born the type of judgment that will be mentioned about him and every other thing that will happen to the church at the later times, only Isaiah. See what that wicked man frustrated. And I'm standing at this very moment. You are coming to old time faith is not by chance. It's not coincidence. It is divine arrangement. And you are coming is not just come and be blessed and you sit down. You are here to be blessed and to become instrument of blessing others. But peradventure, there is an Uzziah that doesn't want you to know anything. All you need to do, you sit down. Pastor, right on, I'm here. We are talking about the program starting next week. What effort have you done? On your personal pre preparation, what have you done? On inviting people, moving around, talking about it. Because you are Uzziah, is alive. And that's why, let that day come. May that Uzziah die. I say, may that Uzziah die. Immediately Uzziah died. Things change in the realm of the spirit. It was when Simon the witch was exposed, the church moved forward. What will I say, dearly beloved? Now the covering cast had been removed. The angel of the Lord descended. The covering cast that hindered him from seeing the third heaven had gone. And the spiritual cast in his spiritual eyes fell off. That his spirit eye could see 
the spirit of God, the angels of God. And then he said, verse 2, above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. He had never seen a kind of being like this. And with twine he covered his face, and with twine he covered his feet, and with twine he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole act is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Whoa, wow, it's me. Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. All these years, he never knew he was a man of unclean lips. He thought everything was okay, but because the covering cast had fallen, he that should go off the mark has gone, and he said, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. And when he saw the king, the Lord of, his, of hosts, his iniquities were made manifest. His discrepancies were laid bare. Everything hidden was exposed. He saw his real self and he lamented. Whoa, cause it's me, frustrated human being, it's me before God, I'm a man of unclean lips, it was then, it gone to him, he remembered he was dwelling in the midst of unclean people, and he has used his mouth with which he had been preaching, so called message. Talking about an unknown God. But someone may say, Pastor, can it be possible? Yes, so. I think either John Wesley or Charles Wesley became a reverend without being born again. And he was preaching. He couldn't understand some things. He asked his sister. In fact, I don't understand some things. I, I, I really don't understand. Say, keep preaching. Keep preaching along the line, you will understand. As he kept preaching along the line, the Lord arrested him. He had a genuine encounter and his life was changed. And he became a holiness preacher. And so, brethren, what are we just trying to say? We're saying that it was now he saw his misdeeds, shortcomings, inabilities. He cried out. He acknowledged before the Holy God, I'm a sinner. I'm a man with an unclean lips for being sincere. The Lord sent the angel that brought the coal fire and touched that lips that had been polluted. Cleanse that lips. Verse 6, then flew one of the seraphims Unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this had touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. I stand here to ask. Has your sin been purged? Has your iniquity 
been taken away? Have you come to personal experiential knowledge of the Lord to the extent old sinful lifestyle passed away? Has the Lord convicted you of sin and you had amended your ways? It is only when that is done before the call for service can take place. Now his sins have been purged away. His spiritual eardrum got opened and he was able to hear. Verse 8, also I had the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. Church, I want us to really understand. If actually the Lord has touched your heart sincerely, you are not just a bench warmer. You are not just one of them that let's just go and uh, see my girlfriend in the church. Let's go and see my whatever business partner in the church. That is not your ultimate goal. The Lord has touched your life and you are here to see him that changed you. The Lord is presenting this call. Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? There's a clarion call. And there's a need in God's vineyard. On whom will the Lord use his time? Whom will the Lord use his strength? Who will make his money available for the Lord to use for the emancipation of the souls of many that are wallowing in ignorance and wallowing in iniquity? Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? God is searching. God is looking for men and women you will use who will make their intellect available, their wisdom available, whatsoever be the talent God has given unto them in the campus to put up a write-up that will fascinate the students and they will be attracted to this program to do some funny, funny things either in the lecture theater or in the lecture hall before the lecturer comes in. Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And this morning, I bring the glad tidings of great joy. In this campus, a meeting like this is going on deliverance from water spirit and all of you that are here and you just have five minutes for the lecturer to walk in you rattle it i'm inviting you to chemistry lab over there block two we are just having a meeting you need to attend that meeting. God will use it to bless you. Some of you ladies, some of you men flying in the dream, having sex in the dream, and some of you crying in the dead of the night. This one will pinch the other. Yes? Uh -huh. What is it? It is from the water spirit. Uh -huh. I, joy, I told you. Okay, please ride on, ride on. The meeting is taking place at chemistry lab. B, block B, and this time is it. 
Oh boy. The lecture has ended. Excuse me, excuse me. I didn't get you well. What is it you are saying? Oh, there is a program going, coming and it is tagged. Deliverance from water spirit. Please tell me more. Tell me. There's something you mentioned that is my joy. You can, come, you can go to the hostel, please. Yes. There's something you mentioned that is just my life. See, what is it that is fascinating you? Come now, let's go. Oh, but come, come. That dream I shared with you the other time, this young man mentioned, okay, is that right? I, me too, I had that say, please, two of us. Right on, please, we want to hear more. We want to hear more. You see, that meeting, God is going to take this reproach away. Now, some of them have reached the age of getting married. Oh, you are talking as if you know me. And uh, the other man came. I told him he has a flat nose. The other one came. I told him the pointed nose is too long that I cannot accommodate. The other one came. I told him he's a dwarf. The other one came. I say he's like uh, tall like this antelope. No. I say no. So you are telling me it is it's not ordinary. My God, my God, please. I'm going to invite my friends who are going to come. Or just in case there's nothing like that going on, log in. YouTube, just OTFM HQ. Now, or Facebook or Instagram, just anywhere you are. You are become everybody is getting to know him. There is a thing going on at such a time like this through you. At that moment, you are a powerful instrument. In the hand of God, God is looking for instruments to use. God is looking for people to use. This Saturday, we're talking about going out for publicity, 3 p.m. Will you be available? Will you abandon any other thing and say, I must be here? God, you gave me two legs to walk. The job the cripples cannot do, it would be abomination for me to sit at home. And the cripple is saying, oh God, had it been you made me to walk, anywhere you want me to trek, I will trek. God, I wouldn't want the cripple who is clamoring to use his two legs and walk, and me that you have made me to walk, the work I ought to do. I relinquish it to the cripple. It will be a curse. God is looking for men and women to use. Will you make yourself available? Saturday, will you make yourself available? Even in your house with the handset, will you make yourself available? We are talking about hour of deliverance. Will, can you sacrifice 1,000 naira? For 1.5 gig that can serve you for one month? Can you sacrifice 2,000 naira or whatsoever it is towards sharing the link, letting other people know, brother, you need to join in this meeting. Sister, you need to join in this meeting. In fact, a few minutes ago, somebody sent me testimony of what happened last night. And we don't share such testimonies here. We share it in our meeting. So join us in the night you will hear. You were here, 9 p.m., join us, you were here. Now, what am I just trying to say? Dearly beloved, God is looking for people to use. God is looking for men and women. Somebody sent me a text, I said, I, I thank God for you, making yourself available for God to use. That, that was what she said. I thank God for you, making yourself available for God to use. God is saying, who will make himself available for me to use? Towards bringing in multitudes towards this, to this program. One person in the streets where we live, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., there's nothing that will make you not to see more than 10 people before 6 p.m. In the streets where we live, in the markets, in the shop, or people where you are trading, is there any place you will just move? You stand just for one hour, 
In the next one hour, you don't see 10 people pass you by. Is it possible? In this city? Answer now. People are everywhere. So we have no excuse. We have no reason why we shouldn't stop one. Speak to one. Convincingly. Persuasively. Encouragingly. And then hand over the flyer. As a reminder. Make sure you are in that meeting. You take his or her phone number. Keep calling. Keep reminding. It is the work of the Lord. You spending your money, giving a call, sending messages, encouraging. I believe the Lord. The souls you've not won for the Lord, you can win up to five during this program. Some, are, some don't even. Now, let me ask you. If you don't win souls for Christ, why are you in existence? From year to year, you can't point, these are the souls I've won for the Lord. Are you not a waster of God's grace? Why you came into this world? You just to come, sit down, and hear the word, go home. Is that all? I wouldn't want anybody to be cursed by God. I wouldn't want any, ask yourself, since you joined this church, how many souls have you personally? How many people you can now say, like uh, the pastor who was uh, talking, he said, um, a, a woman, how he came over here, a woman located here first, invited her husband, her husband, he, the, another family located, another family, and the other one invited Another woman invited his own wife. His own wife brought him here. And that's why they are here. Now you that they brought here. How many have you brought here? That's a question. Someone told someone. Who told someone? Who told someone? Who told you? Since you have been told. How many have you told? How many that you can now stand you say... One, two, three, four, five, six came to this church through me. God is saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? You are coming to church, not just it. Well, somebody sent a, a note that one of God's generals, David Young Jicho, has gone to be with the Lord. If you get to South Korea, oh my God, this man labored. In fact, his works is really making the entire body of Christ all over the world. Home cell, or church in the house, it was him. All over. If you are a pastor, general overseer, you've not been to his church, you've not started. I was there. Americans, if you come and see where Americans are bowing down to another person, because America doesn't believe there's anybody that knows something. And it is American that is translating to our hearing in English. They don't speak English. And come and see crowd. Now he has labored and he has gone home. Brother, wait just in case your time comes tonight. If you have stayed in this church for one year, what will you tell the Lord? This is what I've done for you. I am in Nigeria talking about how his ministry had impacted me. His ministry impacted deeper life. His ministry, all the churches all the churches in africa is you must go all most of the general overseers you have to be there to learn i was there you have to be there to learn and that's what he did what will you do now you are have the opportunity coming down sitting down a day is coming when you live here when you no longer be here 
You will tell God, oh God, I was uh, in no time fit. Fine. Say, how many souls? In fact, did you won? No, I love that church. How many souls did you won? In fact, I paid my tithes, in, uh, I, I, all those things. We joined in building the church and all the rest. How many souls did you win for the Lord? Um, well, it's a uh, fact. I enjoy the preaching. Go to the other side. But that individual who Pastor Water doesn't know is fasting, is praying, is going out for souls and all that. My faithful daughter. Who, who should it be? Come over. But God is not a worker in the church. God is, nobody knows her in the church. <laughs> but I do know her. Her works are speaking for her. My daughter, this is your mansion. You can't say God is partial. You can't do that. Because he's a righteous judge. Brothers and sisters, this is opportunity. This is opportunity to labor. What will you do for the Lord? Rise up on your feet. We are going to the Lord in prayer. Deliverance from water spirit is next week. By this time on Thursday, the atmosphere had changed. How many souls are you going to labor to bring down? To present before the Lord. How many souls? Close your eyes. This is a serious moment. I sang in the church. Go and throw that one overboard. I was an usher. That's nonsense. Anybody can be an usher. Even a smoker. That has nothing to do. We are telling the Lord. Oh Lord, here I am. I want you to talk to God. God, it will not be on record that I'm alive and you're looking for somebody to use. To run around. To sit down in my room. Use my handset. Start calling them one after the other. Sending messages. In, in reminding people, Oh Lord, here I am. Send me. Use me. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. I'm available. Use me. Now that the desire after my life is dead. Lord, here I am. Cleanse me. Purge me. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we go step by step. Uzziah died. Isaiah saw the Lord. Seeing the Lord met him to see his sins. He cried unto the Lord. Now we are talking about since you joined this church, how many souls have you won? How many that are in this church through you? You've not done anything that is sin before God. You can count one, two, three that are here that came to this church through you. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, I am sorry. Forgive me, I've been stubborn. Lord, cleanse me. I will hear about evangelism. I will sit in my oars. I will hear about move out, bring them in. And I will say that is Pastor Waters message. Lord, I am sorry. Cleanse me. In any way, I have not been serious with you. Lord, as Isaiah cried out and you showed him mercy. As we are crying, 
show us mercy. Purge any aspect of our lives that needed to be purged. And then use us. I want you to ask the Lord for mercy. This evangelism, this soul winning, this spending time, move out. Others are fasting and praying for the program. Have you taken out time to fast and pray for the program? You are not. That is sin on your part. Have you taken out time to think, what will I contribute towards making sure that the name of the Lord is glorified in the forthcoming program? Lord, I am very sorry. Show mercy upon me. Forgive me. After this night, I will get involved. After this meeting, I will go home and sit down and marshal out people I will bring to you. We made a promise of two souls from January till now. Have we gotten even one? Nobody is even thinking about that. God had what you said. God had what you said. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, I am sorry. The Bible says, vow not if you know you cannot do it. Can you vow and you will not fulfill it? Tell God, Daddy, I'm sorry. I told you I will go after souls. Till now I've not gone. And I didn't take it serious. Lord, after now. Lord, after now. Lord, after now. Use me. Lord, after now, somebody brought me, somebody directed me. Lord, whom have I directed? I want you to just tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I am very sorry. Show mercy upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. At this moment, you are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Where am I? 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 you want. 
I, I give, give my life to you, Daddy. Take me to what you want. Take me, Lord. Take me, take me. Do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me. Take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you, Daddy. Take me, do what you want. Take me, take me, take me, do what you want. I give my life to you. Daddy, take me, do what you want. My God, my Father, I surrender my life to you. Lord, use me in any capacity you want during this program. Use me, O oh Lord. Use me, O oh Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Daddy, use me. Use me in any capacity. Oh God in heaven, use me. Lord, use me. Use everyone. Use each and every one of us. In any capacity, use us in declaring this message. Use us in spreading this glad tidings. Use us in moving to people. Help us to remember them. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Brother, pray, God, use me. Sister, pray, God, use me. Tell the Lord, Lord, use me. Oh, Lord, use me. I will not be a liability in your kingdom. I, I will not be a liability. I will not sit down while others are going out for you. I will not fold my hands while others are laboring for souls. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, use me. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, use me. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, use me. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, my Father, take away shame. Take away shame and fear from me. Take away inferiority complex from me. Give me boldness to declare, to spread this news. Oh Lord, take away shame. Oh Lord, take away inferiority complex. Oh Lord, give me boldness to go about and herald this program. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, take away shame. Daddy, take away shame. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Take away shame. Inferiority complex. Give us boldness. Boldness. Boldness to declare it. 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 
God give us boldness. God give us boldness. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord God, let the Spirit of God fall upon me. As it was in the days of Pentecost, let the Spirit of God fall on me. Open your mouth and tell the Lord that he let the Spirit of God fall on me. The power of the Almighty possess us. Drive away fear. Drive away timidity. Drive away inferiority complex. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. The power of God fall upon us. The power of God fall upon us. The power of the Almighty fall upon us. Fall upon us. Fall upon us. I want you to tell the Lord. Let the power of the Lord fall upon me. The Spirit of God fall upon me. Lord, use me to spread it. The power, the anointing of God. Fall upon the church. Fall upon the church. Fall upon the church. Fall upon the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the wisdom of God fall on me. Let the wisdom of God fall on me. So that I will know how to go about this program. The wisdom of God fall on me. The wisdom of God fall on me. Open your mouth and receive the wisdom. The wisdom to publicize. The wisdom to advertise. The wisdom to open your mouth. The wisdom of God fall upon us. Mighty Jehovah, the wisdom of the Almighty fall upon us. 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 The wisdom of God fall upon us. The wisdom of God fall upon us. Fall upon us, O Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want everybody to know that Jesus lost every soul. My life I will give as long as I live to let everybody to know. Hallelujah. I want everybody to know, to know that Jesus lost every soul. Even me, my life, I will give as long as I need to let everybody I want everybody to know that Jesus loves every soul. My life I will give as long as I live to let everybody to know. Hallelujah. I want Lost every soul, even me, my life, I will give as long as I live to let everybody to know. At this moment, we are calling upon God, we are telling the Lord. Have you away, O oh Lord, in this program? Have you away, O oh, have you away, the mighty God? Have you Oh. 
Loving the Lord, Daddy, have your way in this program. We welcome your presence. We welcome your power. Have your way. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord to have his way. Tell the Lord have his way. In Jesus' name we pray. We are using this flyer to connect all our flyers. The soft copy, the hard copy, that will be displaying from Saturday this week. We are telling the Lord... Daddy, I think no matter the number of the flyers here, that's the number of salvation we want to experience. That's the number of deliverance. If it's 8,000, we want 8,000 souls saved. 8,000 souls sanctified. 8,000 souls baptized in the Holy Spirit. 8,000 souls delivered from the powers of marine kingdom. 8,000 souls prospered. 8,000 souls with miracle babies. Have your way, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way, O oh Lord, O oh, have your way. join your faith with me with mine and we are soaking these flyers using this as representative of all our flyers soaking it in the blood of the Lamb of God 
asking the Holy Spirit to brood over it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Mighty Father, this is at your altar. Oh Lord, we soak it in the ocean of the blood of Jesus Christ by faith. And we are asking that the fire of the Holy Spirit will envelop it. That the glory of the Almighty will rest on this material. Any hand that receives it will receive Christ. Any hand that receives it will receive sanctification. Any hand that receives it will receive baptism of the Holy Spirit. Any hand that receives it will receive deliverance from poverty. Deliverance from Satan. Deliverance from premature death. Deliverance from barrenness. Deliverance from delayed. Daddy, let have your way. Daddy, let your miracle, your power, oh God, let your spirit brood over it. Let the spirit of God brood over it. The fire of the Lord, the fire of the Lord, Holy Spirit divine, we are soaking this. We are committing it in your hand. Lord, use it. The glory of the Almighty descend upon it. That the ladies become instrument, powerful instrument in your hand to draw souls all over the globe. Jehovah Jireh, I'm asking whatever thing that has been the experience before. Oh God, with what we are doing now, the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, use this to make a name for yourself. Mighty Jehovah, defend this flyer, defend this material. Any altar, any coven, any shrine, where he's taken to disaster, calamity, horror, fire, everywhere, call, crumble, scatter. That is the ultimate goal. Draw souls through this. Draw souls through this. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are asking the Lord, any hand that receives it cannot throw it away, cannot reject it, must read it and be compelled to come. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, Daddy, we are asking any hand that received this cannot throw it away, cannot reject it. And must be compelled to join us either physical or online holy spirit divine we sp speak life into this that they are masking your power use it as a mighty weapon save souls do miracles make impossible possible fill our churches fill this program give us souls lord give us souls lord give us souls lord give us souls in Jesus name we pray we are telling the Lord to give us souls to double our churches after the program that you give us souls open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord oh Lord give us souls oh Lord give us souls Papa give us souls that you give us souls give us souls In Jesus' name we pray. The mighty God, the eternal one that rules in the heaven of heavens. Lord, I present this to your altar. Because of our past experiences, Holy Spirit divine, I hand it over to you. Lord, by faith, I apply the blood of the Lamb of God. That whosoever that received this, we we'll love it. We we'll appreciate it. And we'll be motivated to come. And we'll be blessed. Sinners among them shall be saved. Backsliders among them shall be restored. Believers among them shall be sanctified. And Lord, whatsoever be problem that they come here with, may solution be given to such in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have your way. Use all of us here as instrument of spreading this material. And bless us as we walk in your vineyard. 
Jesus Christ's name we pray.